today we are welcoming the first Jets of Ukraine 2024 ambassador, and this is Agata. Agata, thank you for your time. Can we please start from talking about you? Can you introduce yourself? Thank you, Masha. Uh, my name is Agata Zvolankiewicz. Uh, I'm an associate here at Linklaters with litigation, arbitration and investigations department. I myself have graduated from University of Silesia in Poland, and ended my LLM in investment arbitration at the University of Ottawa, and I am currently also a PhD student at KU Leuven. Thank you. And what about your Mutin experience? I know you have some. Can you please share a little bit more? Yes, I'm a three-time Muti in the Wismut. I participated twice in Vienna, and I was also a member of the very first Polish team in Hong Kong. After that, I also participated in Arbitrator's Quest, a smaller moot court organized by Conrad and Partners in Vienna. And I am currently coaching a SWPS university team. Okay. So while being a student, what was your motivation to join the moot court competitions? I think for me, it was the practical skills. Uh, I would say that this is not something that we see much of at the university. So speaking, thinking of arguments, structuring the arguments and learning how to be in a courtroom was very important for me. I also really wanted to gain international experience and meet people from all around the world. Yeah, that sounds so true about my core competition, especially when it comes to some global competitions like Jessup or Vismut. But now you're in a different role. You're already the experienced lawyer and this year you will be our Jessup Ukraine ambassador. So. Uh, and this is connected to the partnership of Linklaters with Jessup Ukraine for the next year. Can I ask you about your personal motivations behind that? Of course. Um, it was very important for me to support Ukrainian students in the capacity that I can. So to provide them with the opportunities, with the mentoring and uh, any sort of help along the way participating in the Mood Court competitions. We really appreciate that. Thank you so much. And as the ambassador, your core responsibility is, of course, to motivate the future participants. So let's open this moment of motivation. Let's start from those students who are still not sure if they should do up in the next year. What will be your advice for them? Please don't hesitate to participate. Uh, to participate. Mooting was one of the best experiences at the university that I had. I learned a lot. I met my greatest friends in the Mood Court competition and I stay truly connected to the Vismut community and mooting communities in general. So be brave and surprise yourself and really let this experience work for you. I really appreciate you mentioning that it will be surprising when you take on this challenge because this is what we also tell our students. You don't know your limits until you challenge yourself. Very true. And what about those people who already know they will do Jessup this year? What will be your advice for them? So uh, the advice that I received when I started is you only get as much out of the competition as much effort you put in. So start working from the first day, push yourself, uh, surprise yourself, try something new, but also don't forget to have fun along the way because this is what uh, mooting is all about, the fun. Yeah, and we are both actually, as the partners in Jessup Ukraine and I team, we are here to make sure you have some fun, while you will definitely work really hard. Now let's switch to the last part of our interview, and I will ask you to talk about something useful about the skills that we develop during the mood course, during our career and use every day. And I think this will be what our students also expect from our ambassadors. So starting from the skills that you as the lawyer use every day, what are these skills? This is a very interesting question, and I must admit I had a while to think about it because it's, it's very important. So for me first, concise writing. I think this is the most important skill of litigation and arbitration lawyer to put your arguments to the tribunal. And Key's rule is very simple. Keep it short and simple, and that way you will be able to put your arguments to either an arbitrator or the judge. Second would be to be to learn how to be thorough because I believe being thorough is a skill that you learn and it comes with experience. And third, being able to predict the outcomes. I think uh, especially with um, litigation strategy, it's very important to be able to identify the risks and see what outcomes um, each action may bring uh, along the litigation proceedings. 
I would say that's definitely not the most typical skills I hear when I ask this question, but I cannot agree more. Uh, we are now in the age when we see the AI and a lot of trends moving around, and that will definitely influence our legal profession. So which skills do you expect will be needed in three, five years, except from those we, we need now? Uh, as you said, I think AI and um, knowledge on technology in general, I think that we will use more and more technology in our everyday life as lawyers and also being able to be flexible and really adjust to business, which also uh, depends heavily on technology. Okay, and having in mind everything we just talked about, about this set of skills and what we will need in the future, can you share with us what are you looking for when you select the interns or junior lawyers for your company for link creators? I think speaking for myself, uh, I think that willingness to learn is the top uh, characteristic that I look for in interns and junior lawyers. I believe that skills and knowledge will come with time, but the character, this is something that it's very difficult to work on. So I would say willingness to learn and being dependable in litigation, arbitration cases, this is something you really uh, want to see uh, with people who you work with. And that's something you can definitely develop during the Chess of Mood Court. Thank you so much, Agatha. It was a pleasure talking to you. We're looking to see you more often in Chess of Ukraine. And for you guys, wait for the next Ambassadors of 2024 Chess of Ukraine. Thank you so much. I'm very excited to be a part of this initiative. Mm -hmm.